Hello and I'm Steve from New Homes Historian and today we are taking another tour and this is a development by David Wilson Homes called Dosley Park and uh, this is a development that's been going on for quite a while. It's located in a small area of Telford called Dosley. Now this is the second, third phase of this development now and as we come up you can start to see um, a little bit more about this site. This is the top northern end of the site. Now one thing that's interesting about this site is it's actually been built on the site of a former um, concrete manufacturer. They used to make concrete pipes and stuff and all this whole area has been regenerated by David Wilson Homes and they've created this um, unique um, sort of garden village. That was the ethos of when it was built. The development on phase one were quite substantial houses and obviously as the development has, has carried on they've introduced a lot of smaller houses here. Part of the site has been sold off to um, to Barrett Homes, their sister company. But um, well, let's just have a look at the house types anyway. So we're just at the northern fringe of the site now. Now I think the site looks very very good. They've got some nice house types here and as we come up to the top here, this is the elevated section of the site. You can see some of the larger house types there. Um, look like the Holden and a few other house types. Um, and they've got this kind of, I don't know, kind of a duck egg green sort of style cladding on the houses there. They don't look overly, you know, when you expect a David Wilson house, you expect it to have the bells and whistles, don't you? Um, but we don't seem to have this, but we still just have that classic Georgian David Wilson style, don't we? Um, which is which is really good. So a lot of this site is complete, as you can see. It's nice to see the areas completed. Um, and it has been a very, very popular site um, over the years. I mean, I think it's probably started in around about 2012, something like that. But it's going really well. Um, there's a lot... What I like about it is there is a lot of choice for different um, for different pockets really, you know, from the twos and threes to the fours and fives. So you've you've got a bit of something for everybody here, um, and you can see this is your typical house with some three bedroom semis um, on there. You've got these corner houses here, but interesting the landscaping is is rather exceptional as well you've got this lovely metal railing fencing running down the side here which looks nice so you've got some houses here we've got some rendered ones that are they're just breaking up the breaking up that street scene so here's another one of those little cul-de-sacs here um completely all block pavered and it's sort of the same thing here got a couple of um, semi-detached houses here etc and obviously you've got the same amount of affordable houses as well so that looks like a typical sort of two bed that does plenty of parking here but there is a lot of tarmac and there's some parking courts at the back but at least every property does have a driveway and that's really good isn't it so we're coming down to the bottom end of the site so you can start to see those big David Wilson designs coming up now. Um, and on the sort of left and right, you've got these sort of townhouses here done in a sort of Victoriana style. It's very nice um, how they've done it. Um, and I think this is one of the only apartment blocks um, on the development. So we're coming just around the back now and there's this sort of woodland fringe here on the left hand side. This is actually the exact route of the old canal, the Colbert Dale arm of the canal, which way it went. And um, it's uh, it's it, it, this sort of bit of the road gives way to some really nice walks around Lightmore, etc. But you can see a lot of the bigger houses at this end and there's a particularly big one just on the right hand side here on its own little plot really a nice and it's actually got a, a stream running through the garden but you can see some of the big david wilson designs now here you've just got all sorts of bits and pieces here it's quite it's quite nicely landscaped as i've already said um but it's nice they have tended to sort of get the landscaping done as they go along rather than a lot of developers they just wait until the end and get it all done 
So the bit now we're seeing on the right hand side is what we call, um, this is a kind of public open space here. So a nice little sort of kick around area, but look at the, there's a lot of detail. Look at the purlins in the, um, in, in the, just coming out from the rafters. So you'll see now we're coming into another cul-de-sac, some nice big houses here. And the that beautiful L shape, there's two of them together there, that L shaped house there. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's such a lovely design. Um, they don't build that too often, but it is a stunning design. This is a really nice little cul-de-sac to live in, isn't it? Here it's quite nice. It just is a lot of paving and not a great deal of grass actually in those sort of communal areas if you like um but it is a truly nice development this is and um there's still quite a few um houses up for sale here um and i'm sure if you come down and have a look at the show homes you're going to get the uh the pick of the plots um well i hope you've enjoyed having a quick look around with me and uh join us in again soon Steve from New Homes Historian. So now let's take a drone flight over the site.